Hello, this is Sierra, welcome to another video to do it. To do? <laughs> Today we're doing another video inside of my Hermit Craft Season Clockwork story, and we are doing. We're, we're hopefully going to finish off episode 2 um, uh, with chapter 9, but yeah. We move onward to chapter 10, which will undoubtedly create more interesting stuff and all that stuff stuff because we're going down it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> just gonna get whoop things are gonna go interesting like like i just had fun writing these parts like like um just this this is mainly just mainly filler just to build character but yeah like i was wasn't sure if i should add this but since i mean well, I guess I'm going to have to let you guys wait and see. If you guys haven't seen the other stories, be sure to do so. The other chapters and other stuff, be sure to do so. Because you don't want to be spoiled. Uh, and yeah, Clock Chronicles is not necessarily for kids under the age of 13. Unless you're good with things getting a little dark. Not horribly dark, but... I mean, it, get, it does get a little dark, darker than things that I usually do. Lovely world related, anyway. <laughs> Chapter 9. Grin was completely focused, set on the task at hand, as he fiddled with, the, with a painting, balancing it to ensure it hit the little Frankie head inside using whatever eggs he had left over. There were a few baby chickens quietly clucking away behind the painting, swimming in a little patch of water that was big enough to keep them in them in place, but also small enough to let eggs slide into the room when they grew when they grew up. It wasn't too complicated, but he'd be long gone before anyone would notice the little thing. He took a step back as he admired the two by one masterpiece. It looked complete. It looked. It was complete. It looked completely untouched as he turned to head back out of the room, when he saw someone by the doorway that made him jump. It appeared to be a young boy at around thirteen years old. His bright green eyes full of curiosity. How long have you been watching me? Korean asked the boy, wondering if he'd seen what had he'd done behind the painting. I just wanted to see what you were up to. The boy replied happily. You have a, somewhere to be or something? He asked nervously. The boy shook his head. I have this prayer to off. Oh, that's neat. The YouTuber replied with a nod as he walked over to him and leaned down to get at his level. So, what do you do on your off time? Nothing much. Just mainly watch the other kids do some combat training or messing around with things here. There's a lot of cool secrets here, you know. Don't, actually, Korean said with a nod. Tell me more. First, you need to tell me what you were doing with that painting there, the boy had pressed. And don't you go telling me you were just admiring it, or try to brush it off. I know what you adults are like. <laughs> Korean laughed. Well, all right, then. He leaned even closer and whispered. I've set up a little surprise for everyone in the kitchen. Just a little on the spring. Ooh, that sounds cool, the boy said excitedly, just as quiet. Why? I was just bored, Grant said with a small smile. Now that I told you my secret, could you tell me yours? Sure, the boy said eagerly as he walked hurriedly through the main room, only to be stopped by someone walking in. A young woman in her late thirties stood before the boy as he slunk back cheekily. What do you think you're doing, young man? She asked Pierre. Precariously, I don't think I spelled that right. <laughs> oh, thanks. Nothing, ma'am. Just showing my new friend around. The boy quickly pointed over to Green, who stood there with a nervous smile, not wanting to be anywhere near the scene of the prank. In case someone fell it early, he waved sheepishly. Ah, I see. She replied with that. Run along now. Just remember, you have class next period. I'll be there. The boy said half-heartedly, unimpressed, as the woman walked away. What was that? The YouTuber asked him. 
One of her teachers. She's patrolling the halls this hour, I guess. The boy replied meekly. She always gives me a hard time, as if I'd do any rule-breaking. Green chuckled knowingly. Right. <laughs> Why gestured for him to follow. Continuing his route up the stairs to the second floor, where he led him to a nearby room. Opening the door as Green stepped inside, the room contained two bug beds, two dressers, and a few chests crammed in a corner. Here he looked at symbols everywhere else he'd been in, been to. Is this your room? Green asked him curi curiously. Yeah, I'd share it with my roommates. I don't think they'll mind if you drop by. He replied quickly as he went over to one of the beds and flipped over his pillow as he pulled out the sheet of paper. It might not be the best place to hide something like that. <laughs> the YouTuber replied thoughtfully. Where would I put it? The boy asked. Under the mattress? Is there a room between the beds to make a little tra trap door? Green pondered. Maybe. The boy stated, the YouTuber seeing the wheels turning in his head. I can try that, I suppose, but here, have a look. The boy handed him a piece of paper as he unfolded it and glanced down at it. It appeared to be a map of school with specific things highlighted. What exactly am I seeing? The man asked with confusion. Here are the main hallways and classrooms, the boy replied, pointing to a multiple points of the map. See those center lines that don't seem to go far? Those are secret tunnels. No way, Korean said in surprise. And the boy took back the paper. Yep, mapped it out myself with the help of some friends, the boy said triumphantly. We can get away really easily if we have to. But we've been told never to use them unless it's an emergency. I suppose that's fair, the boy YouTuber nodded. I guess, the boy shrugged as he returned the paper to the, its hiding place. I have to go to class now. It's nice meeting you. Likewise, the man nodded as he followed the boy out of the room, closing the door behind him as the boy slipped down the stairs, leaving him alone at the second floor. He glanced down at the hallway briefly. The thought of, a, of secret rooms behind the walls intrigued him, as they always had before. The excitement of knowing there were secrets brought a smile to his face, wondering if there of where were there Wondering if where he was going had secrets of their own as well. He hoped so. He pushed through... Ugh. He pushed the aside, aside, though, knowing it was best not to get into, on the gods' bad side now, right now. He wasn't sure how they felt about him, after all. Especially being a stranger in a place so well protected. The last thing he wanted was for people to suspect that he was up to no good. Wondering he was only curious. Finding secret tunnels might make them feel unsure about him. And he, it was probably better if he left well enough now, uh, well enough alone, at least for the time being. Once things began to settle, he could do all the exper exploring to his heart to that his heart desired, without a care in the world. And if he could, he would bring his friends along with. Till then, he had to wait. For Liam to learn what would hap be happening to him. Hopefully it would get him closer to his friends. Closer to home. Even though he couldn't go home yet. Just yet. Someday he would. And he would take everything he learned along with him. I'm just going to end it here. Because yeah, this episode 2. I know I did it, something similar before. But <laughs> it's... It's a little different. Like, I could continue, but I will leave you guys in suspense for however long it'll take before this, the next episode comes out. Because I'm not going to say it's weekly, because I might mix things up for reasons. But yeah, these, it's going to be fun. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, If you want to see more, just, you know what to do. Just let me know. And if you have any questions, thoughts, theories, or ideas for other stories, feel free to let me know as well. Because, yeah, we're not done. We're just about halfway. Just about halfway. It's a good feeling. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, yes, I will see you all later. Whatever that might be.